I heard a noise. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Don't hate me because of um, what I titled this video. Don't get me wrong. I love, 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 love those homes. I love watching them. I love, you know, there's Brianna, Cook Clean, Repeat, um, who else? Crystal Tara, Jessica Donahue, and I like a country life. There's so many out there. I love, love, love their homes. There's another one too, Till Vacuum Do Us Part. There's one other, there's more, there's tons of them. Anyways, I love their homes. I love, love, love their decor. Um, but I'm not them. I'm not a rich YouTuber. I'm a very little YouTuber and there's probably only gonna be like five of you watching this. Um, so this is an average home, average YouTuber. I'm part-time hairstylist in Ontario, Canada. And I'm not a rich YouTuber. My husband right now is laid off due to this whole COVID crap that's going on. So, yeah. I'm going to take you in my home this year. I've never done a home tour video of any type of decorating. Um, this is your average home, average family, making your average income. I'm gonna start outside and we'll work our way in. Okay, so here's my front. Don't mind um, my salt packs. I just got those because, I don't know, it's gonna be icy soon. So we did put the lights up. I'll show you. This is the pattern that I was telling you that the other people had here before. So we just followed it. It's not a big deal. My lights are on because I'm too lazy to go down and into the garage to turn it off. So at the front, as you've already seen, this is what we did. I just put some garland around the arch and grabbed some um, bows from Dollarama. Oh, that bow is all lopsided. we got to fix them. But those two bows that you've already seen me make, and I made that wreath for the front door very quickly. And I can reuse that greenery because I did not hot glue anything to it. Let's fix this bow, though. There, is it. there you go. That's a bit better. All right, so let's go inside. Oh, this is my doormat. We play hockey here. My husband and my son, they're like, eat, sleep, hockey, that's it. And I would love, love, love to have one of those like outer, like the bigger mats that you can put this on top, but it gets wet and it stays wet because I don't get sun at the front here. And at the top here, it's always like dripping after it does um, rain so this takes forever to dry so let's see do you like my ombre stairs it matches my walls on the inside so we're coming in do we need a light on probably not so this is my front entryway oh I forgot I had the Santa here so this Santa I've had from the early 2000s I just sometimes I've even had them like out not even put them away like all year. I think I got them at the William Ashley sale a very, very long time ago. Before I even met my husband. So he's been around for a while. Um, so here's my front entryway. Downstairs to go downstairs. And of course, Miss Paige has to poke her head in. Where is she? What's the opposite of a predator? A Prey. Prey, thank you. And then it's a split level, so you're gonna go up the stairs here. Here's my little garland. It's just gonna go up my stairs. And here is my front entry table. Got my lights on. These are little fairy lights, but it's all connected into one. It comes with like six strands, and it's a cascading one. The connection is behind this little house. And there's six strands, I think I said that already. So I put two down there and then I just grabbed the other three and I just brought them up that way. So there's my little village. I did not get light bulbs, as I think I already mentioned in that video. One, of, I think only one of them worked. Anyway, some of these guys are down because Mr. Caleb plays with them. And I think I'm missing, oh no, the other snowman's there. I thought they were gone, he put them back. But they're not standing up, I don't know. He just takes them and he plays with them. And this little snowman's down too. We'll just put in there for easy access. There we go. 
And then I'd end up just leaving that house there. Uh, and I just left it there because I didn't feel like moving it around or putting it anywhere. Make sure I'm not going to fall backwards down the stairs. And have my little garland. This is a little wreath I made. And this old window frame, I'm, I don't know, it's like 100 years old. They were from my husband's grandfather's place. He was like collecting them and he was in his 90s when we cleaned out his house and they were just, not even a house, it was like a shack type thing. And I had a whole bunch of these old windows. I have tons more in my shed. And then this I found in the thrift store. I was so excited. Let me see if I can get some lighting here. Maybe? Yay! Okay, light. Um, so it's got little Santa pants, gloves, a little baby outfit, his hat, a scarf, his jacket and some booties. It's so cute. So I just stuck it there just because I wanted to see what it looks like and Miss Paige said it was cute so I just left it there. And this, this was actually off of something else but I didn't really like it on it or maybe it fell off. It was actually off of here but I'll show you that in a little bit. And I just had it out so I just stuck it there. That's it. And uh, which way should we go? Let's go this way to my kitchen. So that is my front entry. You want to see what's in my drawers? It's junk. This is like batteries and some glasses and measuring tape and some more toys. I don't know. Remember what's on this side? Oh, more glasses. That's it. Oh, look. A suit suit. I don't know who that was. Maybe Caleb's. Or Ethan's. Caleb never took it. What else we got in here? Some more glasses. Oh, and gift cards. Okay, let's go in here. Do we need a light? Yes? No? Yes? There's nothing in here, really. I got this little mug thing I found for free on Facebook Marketplace. Not Marketplace. On a free site on Facebook. And then here's some fancy candy canes crushed up that I got at Bulk Barn for their hot chocolates. That's just like tea and sugar and spoons there. Frosted cranberry. And nothing along here because it just gets too messy. And this, I think I'm going to turn on. Let's put these on here. Okay. Can we do it? Yay, there you go. Let's see if it looks we need a light okay so anyway it's the first time i've ever put a garland around my kitchen window and i like it it's cute i don't remember who i saw doing it somebody was doing it and here is that sign that i showed you in that michael's haul i had i decided to put it here i wanted to do something in this corner but then i have no room to put that in a cabinet anywhere so i just did it here because i saw again somebody putting a sign on the window. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I'm going to do that too. And this guy, as you can see, he's made out of wooden spoons. I got him at a, a Christmas crafts show. Way, when did we move here? Almost like four years now. You can see. It's just wooden spoons put together. So cute. A little reindeer. Oops, it's going to fall off there. Okay, let's put it back on. So here is, those are the same lights that are at the front there. But I just strung them all around here. Miss Pate is going to want them in her room. Uh, after this is all done. And then I love this ribbon. I wanted to do it on the tree, but I ended up doing my tree pink and blue again. I like how it has like the iridescent trim. And it is wired. I love wired ribbon. Okay, now this way. Nothing on here because it just collects more junk. Those are... Just some of my book orders people are coming to pick up this weekend. Let's see, do we need a light in here? Maybe, maybe not. Nothing on my table because it gets used a lot. And we don't have like a breakfast table or a formal dining room that I can have my place settings out and, you know, make it look all pretty. So, here is my nativity set. Let's go a bit slower. Do I need a light on? Let's try this first. And this is the, I believe they're the willow, willow, what are they called? Is it on here? This guy might have it on the bottom. Willow tree. 
And this is the three wise men. And I think I will turn all the light on. Hang on. I'm bringing you around in the circle. There we go. Okay. We got a light on. So, um, this, the figurines are from my husband's aunt and uncle. Um, they gave us a set, I think it maybe two or three years or maybe for Christmas for maybe three years until we accumulated this set. This manger I just found at the thrift store for 10 bucks. It did come with the figurines, but they looked scary, so I just left them there. I told them I didn't want that, and I just wanted the manger. So they sold me just the manger, which was nice. And it comes with um, little goats, little sheep, and lambs. I stuck one in there because it was cute. There's this one little guy. Why does he look like his ears broken? No, it's not. Okay. And then we got some more of one of the three wise men on this side. There's this guy. And then behind here, I just did, as you can obviously see, a garland with some more lights and some of those white poinsettias that I had on the front stairs. And I was going to put this on the tree, but I couldn't get it on properly because the top of the tree is um, has some branches that are like I can't close them together so this angel was my mom's we've so this is very very old it's from the 80s it does have lights but it does not work anymore as you can see it's like all rusted out yeah it doesn't work anymore so anyways I was gonna put it on my tree and then Paige was like oh an angel we should like hang it on top or something I'm like oh wait I have a stand so I just got my clear glass stand out and stuck around there. Maybe I'll put something around at the back. Maybe. I don't know. So, that is my nativity. And then here is um, the advent calendar that we made. Well, I made. There's all the little stickers. There is a video on this. And this goes down to all the way number one. And that's that. So here's my tree. As you guys have already seen in that one video as I was putting it up. See the top of the tree. It's kind of like, I don't know. I couldn't get those together and the light was there. And then all the flocking was starting to fall everywhere and things were shaking. And Or maybe because Caleb was trying to climb on the chair with me as I was trying to do it. So it just didn't work, so I just left the, the angel there. So there's the tree. Again, we did the pink and blue this year. I was hoping for like more rose gold, but you can't really find decorations. I couldn't find rose gold, but this is like close enough. Oh, this is new. I got this at Dollarama for Paige, a ballerina. Because she is my little ballerina. I'm not just saying that, she actually does ballet. And then, see, we just made a whole circle. We ran around there, and now we're in here. And this side, so here's my TV stand, my blanket ladder. I had this long, long string of lights, and I saw somebody had lights around their blanket ladder. I'm like, oh, that looks cute. So I did it. It's plugged in behind, so if I want to unplug it, I have to actually move the console. <laughs> forward and then back so I'm just leaving it plugged in if my husband wants it unplugged he can do that and then again I just have another garland here I've never put a garland up here in front of the TV or on here I don't know why I've always wanted to but then again I saw somebody else do I was like oh, I'm gonna try it because I think I was always worried that the sensors wouldn't you know reach the TV <laughs> that makes sense so I did it this year and it seems to be fine. And here is the other advent calendar. They haven't decided which ones they want yet. Ethan hasn't seen it. I did end up putting those little bows on. There they are. I put red in the middle and then green on the ends. And I think on the other side I did red on the ends and green in the middle. And then 
Here is the lantern. I ended up bringing the string lights was long enough to come all the way down here and around there. And this little doily thing uh, is from my aunt. It does come with one more like this and then one that's a little bit longer, maybe like two feet or 24 inches for like your coffee table and then these would be for your end tables. But I didn't have anything on here and this is an old typewriter. And having this brown and that brown, it just blended together and this, I don't know, it's kind of like snow underneath my twinkling lantern that I got at Home Depot for very cheap because the glass at the back is not there anymore. And that is it. That is my little Christmas home tour. I do not have anything on my coffee table because Mr. Caleb will just destroy it and he likes to play his cars on the table. I took out all his cars from here and they're all in his bedroom and I left him just this. They'll all make it, uh, its way back out here eventually. So that is it. That is my little house. My little Christmas. Oh look, you can see everything in one view. My front entry, my tree, and my nativity set. And my village. And yep, yeah, there's those gifts that we wrapped. They're under the tree already. And that is it. That is my upstairs main floor Christmas home tour. We do have a tree in the basement and we do have a fireplace, a gas fireplace in the basement. The mantle is done. The tree is done downstairs. Miss Page did that. But it's like Monica's closet down there right now. And I will show you that another day once we get it all clean since up here is pretty much done except for uh, the bedroom so it's just laundry and Caleb's room is just toys. And once the basement is done, I will show you down there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my small home tour of Christmas 2020. Thanks. And I forgot to put one thing out. I was so excited about this. I found this, it's gotta stop shaking, at Walmart. I've been looking for something like a countdown. I've seen them at like Michael's and all these other fancy places and they're just, I don't know, they just, I didn't, I didn't like them. Then I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so cute. And they're also very expensive at Michael's. They're like 50 bucks here in Canada. This was only $15. I might eventually one day switch this out because it looks kind of, I don't know, it's just too much flocking and just some cheap material here. But anyways, yes, so I have this here and today I had to actually ask Siri how many more days left till Christmas there was. And he said, tell me there was 28. It starts at 29, but I missed it. So today we're at 28 days. All right, there we go. Now I'm done. Have a great day. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video of, your, of my Christmas home tour of the non-rich YouTuber. Yeah. And now I've got to go and pick up Mr. Caleb from daycare. I had him there today so I can finish cleaning and Ethan had to go to the dentist to get um, a filling. He had a small cavity and that is it. And then we're going to come home, make some dinner, which I will film because now I know that my kitchen is clean and I know what we're making. Miss Paige wanted, um, I need to change my oil, it's beeping at me. Miss Paige wanted white sauce, so we're gonna do some Alfredo, some chicken Alfredo. She asked for white sauce with chicken. So, I might be doing penne or fettuccine or something. Anyways, I'm gonna stop now because I'll just keep rambling on and I have to go and get Mr. Caleb. It's almost three o'clock and yeah, bye.